Welcome back to 12 News at 4. A new COVID vaccine is available, but are people going to take it? Well, according to a CBS News poll ahead of the vaccine rollout, less than 50% of people planned on getting the shot. For more, we're joined by Dr. Timothy Quinn of Quinn Healthcare in Ridgeland. Dr. Quinn, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, I'm hearing from someone who knows you that what you're seeing at your clinic is pretty much people aren't coming for the shot. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> right now, a lot of people are underestimating COVID. And the reason behind this is it was so stressful during the, the height of the COVID pandemic. I mean, people were losing their lives. Everything was shutting down. The way we live life as we knew it had changed drastically. And then things got better. People started getting vaccinated. Uh, people started using mitigative measures and people got less sick and significantly people had less scenarios of losing their life. And now people are letting their guards down. But what we have to do is we have to stay on the offensive. We have to treat it like it's something that we don't want to return to the way it was when things were bad. That's why it's so important that we get this new booster because it's been modified to target specifically the new strains that are even more infectious right now. Dr. Quinn, okay, here's my theory on this. Uh, you know, when, when COVID first came out, we were told, if you take this shot, you will not get COVID. Mm -hmm. Every one of the people who took the shot and told us that got COVID. So I'm thinking that maybe people just don't trust the people who are telling us these things. What are your thoughts, sir? Well, here are my thoughts, and these are the facts. Number one, <laughs> when you get the COVID vaccine or the booster, which we're really pushing for right now because it's modified to target those most prevalent circulating strains out there right now, number one, the research has proven it decreases hospitalizations. Number two, it decreases sickness. And number three, it decreases your probability of losing your life. This is so significant. Now, here's the deal. If you get the booster or the vaccine, whichever one you're in, in line for right now, you might still contract COVID. But as I said, you'll get less sick, meaning that there's much less of a chance that you'll end up, you know, just, just severely ill. And if you're someone who's compromised, there's less of a chance you'll lose your life. But also note, there's less of a chance you'll serve as a carrier for an extended period of time, meaning that if you're somebody that's fairly healthy, you, you contract COVID, you can fight it off more quickly if you get that booster, and then you have less of a chance of taking it to your grandmother or, or your aunt or your, your parents. If your parents are elderly or on chronic uh, medical uh, problems, then there's less of a chance that they'll lose their life. That's why it's so important we get that booster so that we can get that protection. So if we do contract COVID, which we can, we have a much better course. And that's that's really the messaging that really needs to go out there right now. Yeah. Dr. Quinn, let me ask you about the different the different vaccines. We have the Moderna and again we have the Pfizer. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Now I heard this is and this is a this is true as neighbors. They set up to get the Moderna at a national pharmacy. They said they had the, the Moderna. They get there. No, they had never even gotten the Moderna in. So they didn't get it. They, they're rescheduling. Is it important that you get the same that you've been taking throughout the same brand, I guess? That's a great question. Right now, the CDC is advising if you got the Pfizer all the way through, if you can get the Pfizer, it would be optimal. But if you can't, it's okay. And we talked about that on this programming. If you got the Moderna at one point, and right now the only thing that's available is the Pfizer, go ahead and get the Pfizer and vice versa. Because at the end of the day, what we want everyone to know is there are some new circulating strains out there, and they're much more infectious. As far as the virulence, it's still being uh, evaluated right now, but it's much more infectious. And these new boosters that they've just come up with, they're monovalent, meaning they're specifically modified to target these new strains that are circulating. So if you have to get the Pfizer or the booster, or if you had a different one in the past, get whatever is available because these new circulating strains, they're more infectious, but also note, the more people that contract COVID, the more of a chance that 
they can mutate even more. Mm. And then there's a possibility there could be a more virulent strain that could be much more deadly. So it's so important that everyone get that booster and just understand that even though we're winning the war right now, the war is not over. Well, you mentioned people catching COVID right now. Catch us up on the latest real quickly. Last month, COVID cases and hospitalizations were on the rise. Are we still seeing that? Are we still seeing that increase or are cases beginning to drop? Well, cases are still on the rise. And what we have to look at is starting to get cold outside, which means people will be congregating indoors more. Also, a lot of events are going on. You get, we have the fair going on. People are out there all around each other. Even though it is outdoor, there's very close uh, congregations of people. But also note that, you know, with these football games, these, these homecoming, I mean, this weekend, Jackson State's homecoming, everybody's excited. We're going to be close quarters. So this provides more of an opportunity for spread of COVID. So I think right now, more than ever, we really need to get that booster. And Dr. Quinn, one last question. You said at the beginning you can get the shot or you can get the booster, whatever you're eligible for. When you say you can just get the shot, does that mean if you've never taken any of the other, you, this is your first time to get a COVID shot? That's a good question. Right now is being advised to go ahead and get that booster because remember, here's the deal. The new booster is modified to specifically target the most prevalent okay. circulating strains. So right now it's best to just get that booster and that's what's being offered in all the facilities that are providing these uh, boosters is that new booster, either Pfizer or Moderna, whatever they have available, there's a shortage for the children's boosters, but it's coming very soon. But the take home is get that booster because it's so important. And lastly, also you can get the flu shot the same day. I got both of mine two weeks ago. I got the booster and the flu at the same time, the same arm, and hey, and I was fine and, and I'm very happy I did it. All right, that's good, very good advice. You've yeah. really filled us in. Thank you so much, Dr. Quinn.